We going underground, 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 going underground, we going. All them hustles in the streets, we trying to reach it. You been grinding, now it's time to let the world see you. It's the underground, yeah. It's the underground. Titanium underground. There you go. Oh, it's Dutch. The man, I'm Mr. the legend. What, what up, what up, what up? How you we doing, here. Brother? We here, man. Wow, oh, yeah. brother. It's been, it's been, it's been a while, man. It's been a long time. It's been time. a while, bro, but a lot, a lot of people don't know, me and Chris went to high school together. Yeah. <laughs> we went to school together. You know Vikings. what I'm saying? Vikings. Vikings. We ain't going to tell, tell our age. We <laughs> going on 27. That's all y'all need to know. Going on 27. Forever. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> so, brother, this is crazy because you was the first person I saw online actually doing this. And I remember the message I sent you. I said, brother, is this real? This cat sends me back a screenshot of checks. Like, <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> and I got so hyped. I was like, oh, no, this is somebody I know. It was instant credibility. He was doing his thing. Man, and, and Chris was the first person I reached out to, and I knew it wasn't a joke, bro. How did you find out about this? Yeah, so basically I was watching, like, some uh, videos, like motivational videos, business videos, stuff like that, and I fell asleep, and I woke up, and I saw a dude walking up with a big beard talking about real estate named Max Maxwell. So I was like, what is this? We in real estate now? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wholesaling? What is he talking about? Right. Pull it up on the computer. Oh, no, I can do this, because I already know how to sell from previous things like this. So okay. I was like, oh, man, I just got to find out how to talk the talk mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, do the deals. Man, and... and did you get analysis paralysis or did you go straight in? Oh no, I jumped straight into it. Cause see, I'm one of those people that try almost anything. I fell for the Bitcoin scam. Okay. I fell for the other stuff. I go down them rabbit holes like, what's this, an opportunity? <laughs> I don't do MLM or none of that crazy stuff, uh -huh. but it's like certain things like, that look different. Let me try that out. I'll test it, see if it works. And before you know it, boom, it's real. Man, man. You've been doing this, what, in a year and a half now, or two years? Uh, Less than two years, about a year and a half, about 15, 16 months. I closed my first deal August of 2018 and went on to close 17 wholesale deals in my first year, so. 17 deals in your first year. Man, so, you like a lot of us, a lot of people that I meet, bro, we try anything. A lot of us had a lot of failed businesses before. Oh yeah. We try whatever see what work, what don't work, and I'm just I was the same way with this man. I I jumped into it after you confirmed with the checks that it was correct <laughs> and it, it worked. I jumped in and I had a deal my first what like three and a half months in, bro, and, and that feeling of getting your first deal and it, and knowing it worked. Because I think that's the problem. Most people they don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? But once you get that and once you believe it, man, and once you get that first check, everything changed, man. So I just want to thank you again for reaching out. He helped me with learning ARV and all of that because I was a mess, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, all come yeah, in like that, though. It's I like, what's this? In. You got to learn, you know? Yeah, and so man. my biggest thing was just more so just jumping right in. And mm -hmm. like I said, I have an entrepreneur mindset already, so it was easier for me. Mm -hmm. Some people coming from a regular job, it may be a little more difficult because they don't know when the next check is coming or when you're going to get paid right, or, right. you know, the trials and tribulations of being being an entrepreneur, going through the problems, dealing with sellers, dealing with buyers, dealing with whatever problem may come up, that's hard for most people. Right. I mean, I understand that all deals ain't going to make it. And right. I found that out real quick in my first year because I left about $40,000 on the table mm -hmm. that never made it to closing just for stuff that wasn't even my fault, like right. title issues, problems, you know, things like that. So that was like, man, you know, what if I had to close all those deals? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even be there to talk to the boy. Like, nah, hey, hey, here you go. I'm telling you, man, but uh, tell me what's your plan for this year, man, 2020. So, yeah, so more so for 2020, I'm just trying to uh, build up a team to where we can do more deals. You know, I can only do so much myself. You know, I can only do so many. I can only talk to so many sellers, talk to so many buyers, talk to so many different people to make this business work. And it's a people business. You know, the more people you talk to, the more deals you make. And, you know, if they don't know you, they can't flow you. So I try to find more people, reach out and help more people, let them know what I do. And they come on and you know, deals just fall in my lap sometimes just by connecting and networking with people. Brother, amazing job, man. Amazing job. And now we finna go, we finna go around the building, man. I want y'all to see the other things my brother <laughs> in a loo doing. Stay tuned. <laughs> a 
brother Chris, like I told you, he 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 a hustler, man. He got more than just you know just houses. He do other things too. That's right. That's right. That's Real it. estate is the way to open up the doors to everything else. So I always try to find multiple streams of income. They say most millionaires got what seven streams of income. Yes, I got sir. about thirteen, so I'm on my way. <laughs> All right. So let me let you let's take a look at the other side of the operation. Okay. Thank you, bro. Look at all of this, man. So, yeah, so basically what we have here is more of the uh, resale business. As you see, there's some things here. I mean, there's some stuff here you probably never see in your life. I mean, it's like collectible items, antiques furniture, all different type of stuff like that. We have over 10,000 items here at St. Louis Consignment Gallery where we sell everything. Furniture, whatever you need. Mm. So, I mean, it's stuff all through here. So basically, it's a, uh, I would say it's a antique mall style where you can actually rent a space if you have stuff you want to sell or we sell our own stuff. It's a pretty big building. We even got bikes. <laughs> Wanna go for a ride? So yeah, this is uh it just opened up a couple of weeks ago, so we're still, you know, working out the things and everything. So this is where we do more of our resale stuff. Some of the times we buy a house, it may be loaded up with furniture, something or collectibles or antiques, anything, we pull it right off, sell it right out of here, ship it online on eBay, we sell stuff on Amazon, Craigslist, Opera, Let Go, Facebook, you name it, everywhere. We ship it worldwide. Mess around, I might even see a fox. <laughs> Got a live animal over this little. I'm finna, I'm finna go ahead and uh, cut him down and get, make me a coat. I already put this here, so you never know what you see around here. It's serious. We're going underground, 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 going underground, going. All them hustles in the streets we trying to reach.